back to uh, New Jersey. Ten years ago, when I saw New Jersey's report, I noticed uh, it said $14 billion in insurance company equity participation. And I said to myself, what is insurance company equity participation? Started looking, found out the uh, federal government, uh, back about 25 years ago, close to it, uh, mandated that the insurance companies uh, had to create a major catastrophe fund in the event of natural disaster. Large hurricane hit the East Coast, wiped out a couple hundred thousand homes. Uh, a million or two automobiles, a uh, big earthquake hits California, uh, same scenario. They wanted to make sure that they were covered. Well, this equated to trillions of dollars, which the insurance companies did not have at the time. The uh, federal government gave them 10 years to implement the program. At the end of the 10 years, 94% of the revenue requirement was satisfied by state and federal investment funds. And when we look at the records, it was mostly at 2.4, 2.6% interest, well below prime. They invested their monies. <clears throat> now, what this means to the public in real term, let's use automobile insurance. Auto comes under the major catastrophe fund. As I mentioned, large hurricane hit the East Coast, wipes out hundreds of thousands of automobiles, big earthquake in California, same scenario. Now, I'll use Arizona as an example. In Arizona, the minimum coverage is $30,000. And based on the major catastrophe fund rules, one-third of the value of the policy, the face value, has to be up on deposit. So one-third of 30000 is $10,000. That money being provided by state and federal investment funds, uh, say at 5% interest for easy accounting, that equates to a $500 a year return. Now, my auto insurance premium is $658 a year. Under this example, the insurance company is only getting $158 the government is getting $500 on the return. Did you ever wonder why they uh, <coughs> make it mandatory insurance state by state and force it by armed force? Every state with mandatory insurance uh, is opening up a phenomenal investment pool for the state and federal investment funds. Now, I took this a step further. I called the Division of Motor Vehicles in Phoenix to find out the total number of registered vehicles, both commercial and non-commercial in the state. To be registered, required insurance, mandatory insurance state. I then called the insurance company data banks to find, to find out the total liability claims paid by all insurance companies operating in the state of Arizona. I then took that figure, added on a 35% markup to allow for a profit margin and operating costs. For a paper company, that's pretty good. I then took the total number of registered vehicles, divided it by that number, the average annual insurance premium using that, uh, those figures came out to being $126 per year. Got the picture? <coughs> Government has been getting into every aspect of taking money. The public's familiar with taxation. Taxation is actually turning into a very small portion of government's uh, uh, take. <coughs> Investment funds is their primary vehicle for uh, revenue generation at this point in time. Taxation's secondary. You have to start tracking down these investment funds. <clears throat> the next time you hear, uh, well, we're going to have to shut the school down. It's got holes in its roof. We need to raise taxes for a million dollars. Or the police are underfunded. We're going to have to let half of them go. <clears throat> Pop up with, uh, oh, by the way, uh, they said they had to shut down the school. Well, I see they have $42 million here in the local government investment pool. Why are you not using this? Now, Jesse Ventura, when he was uh, 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 mayor of uh, I think it was Menlo Park, uh, the city wanted to have a uh, tax increase of $260,000, a small increase, for uh, the school districts. They said they were at a short, short fund of money. He looked and saw a $48 million investment fund sitting there listed as idle funds. And he goes, here, take it from here. And he was the first person to openly admit as to the difference between the budgetary basis and the liquid investment funds. He was elected governor, and also the first step he did was to target $7 billion in surplus funds for return to the public. Now, legislature, okay, who has their hands very deep in the pockets here, went to block them on the $7 billion, and he was only able to free up about $1.8 billion, which equated to about an $800 check for every person living in the state. The bottom line is, it's a power game. With this much money available, especially with the public not even being aware or oblivious to the majority of the wealth, 
the legislature, the congressmen, the senators, the judges, the attorneys, they're all fighting back and forth to see who can get whose hand in whose pocket the quickest. And it's important for the public to look and start getting basic comprehension.